Um, I actually have one question that is that might be a little longer uh, needed. It might be needed more time to answer than just two to three sentences, but I still want to ask it. Um, that is um, now with the war and Israel Gaza um, and uh, the the different opinions on it within NATO. Uh, for example, Turkey and um, uh, the U.S. or Turkey and many other NATO states, uh, Germany, for example, as well. Um, what what does it mean for NATO, these conflicting views? So it, it's hugely difficult. Um, and I think, you know, I think it's important that people remember that this war started with terrorist attacks by Hamas in Israel on October 7th. And uh, it is natural for Israel to want to respond against that and to, to prevent that kind of a attack from occurring in the future. Um, but it's clear that as Israel goes about with this military activity, that it, it does, I mean, I, I think, Israel understands that it needs to be mindful about the civilian casualties in Gaza. I mean, you know, these are higher and higher every day. Secretary of State Blinken has noted that, you know, the level of civilian casualties uh, is too high. It is too high. And I think it's natural that you're going to have differences within NATO about the balance between supporting Israel and its need to restore deterrence and to create a situation where you don't have these attacks again in the future, a balance between that and, you know, believing that, I mean, Palestinian civilian citizens in Gaza, they have a right to life. And, uh, you know, if they're civilians, they shouldn't be attacked by military force. Uh, and uh, I think that it's it's natural to face difficulties in thinking about the balance of those two things. Uh, you know, I hope the hostages are released. I hope civilian casualties in Gaza are kept to a very, to a minimum going forward. I, 